Well, hey guys, who are we going to talk about? Well, you already saw the title, so you know what we're going to talk about. We are going to talk about the Touch Knives Sparrowhawk. And I am here to tell you this is a beautiful little knife. It's not something I would ever carry, but man, and it's got a little hidden secret. If you guys remember, we've talked about these before. It is a double action thumb stud and bolster. So let's go ahead and turn down the volume because here comes the music. As you are going to notice that there are some definite different things. I uh, tried to get the camera set up. I used the grid pattern. I tried to set this up as flawless as possible. I was going to put on the shirt that I wore the other day when I did this, but it's in the laundry. <laughs> so um, if you guys recognize, I just got done shooting the Master Blaster video and I was like, oh, I have to finish the touch, the touch knife video, the Sparrowhawk, and talk about it. So we are now, what? three days in the future from when I shot the touch uh, video. I shot it pretty much right after Nico got it sent to me. So this is a knife made by Will and Eric Touch. Friends of, uh, Nico and I are good friends with Will and Eric. Uh, I talked to Will fairly often. As a matter of fact, I just sent him a text the other day. I haven't heard back from him. I should give him a call. Um, Nico picked this knife up at Portland at Blade West. We went to their shop. He made his order. He reserved it. Um, this is not my typical knife that you're going to see on the channel. This is 100% a full custom. This is 100% made by hand by Will and Eric, uh, father and son team up there in uh, Portland. We, we hung out at their shop, if you remember the first day, the first Portland video. But Nico picked this up. Nico has won one of these for a very long time. Nico picked one up and got a really good deal on it. So without further ado, let's get to what I already shot, which is uh, let's turn this around and shoot it. Now, I'll tell you what happened. Uh, there was something wrong with the video I shot. It was all pixelated and grainy, and it just did not look the way I wanted it to when I was doing edit this morning, so I realized I needed to reshoot this segment. So here we go. We're going to turn around. We're going to get some weight, and you're going to see all the stuff that I filmed three days ago. All right, guys. All right, guys. Let's take a good close look at this thing first because it is truly gorgeous. The handwork that went into this, I mean, honestly, look at that. It's, it's got... It's got schmutz on the blade. Let me wipe it off. Um, the, the polish on that, all hand done. Thun studs, all handmade. Everything on this knife is handmade except for the screws right there. Um, and like I said, when you look down here, you can see it's signed, touch, will engraves them. Uh, steel backspacer, titanium liners, a titanium liner lock. The action on it, just with thumb stud deployment is still amazing. The feature on it that makes it cool and what really kind of struck us when we were at the show, um, this is a hidden activation auto. And so you push back right there or you push down here and you shift that entire scale becomes your button. And then you simply Push it back down in. You do have to get it back down in. I have a little marker on my hand. I was playing with it the other day. It, I didn't get it all the way close and it snapped open in my hand. It's, it's a pointy, it's a pointy little turd. Trying not to curse too much in the videos. Finish on that. Gorgeous. They do some of the best hand carbon fiber work. Look at that. Completely flawless. I'm not seeing any cracking or voids and if you've ever worked with carbon fiber you know that like just to drill that hole now nico does carry this he carries this a lot and so you see there's some of the best carbon fiber usually you have blowouts around holes and everything it's just car carbon fiber is just hard to work with in general so now that we've looked at it a little bit let's put it down here let's get uh first of all let's get a size comparison well you know what? we'll do size comparison after we talk about the actual specs so Let's look at this here. This is a, bring you down, it's a little knife. It's a little knife. It doesn't need a lot of altitude. Um, 
So this knife is, like I said, made by Will and Eric Touch up in Portland. Beautiful, beautiful work that they do up there in a, in a fairly large shop, actually, for two people. So you're looking at a blade length of 2.75 inches with a cutting edge of 2.25 inches. Overall length is 6.37, 36 actually. Um, blade thickness is 0.134 in CPM S30V. Not one of my favorite steels, but on this it's fine. Uh, this does run on washers and it is insanely smooth, guys. Lockup is good. And it weighs two point, they say 2.5 ounces, but let's take a look at what this one weighs because they are hand-built customs. So there may be some deviation from knife to knife. Are we still in ounces? We are still in ounces. Two and a half, 2.5, two and a half ounces on the nose. It does have double thumb studs that they make themselves. I do believe Nico's gonna need to send us back. One of these thumb studs keeps getting loose. I think it's just a matter of it just uh, needs to be put on and tightened uh, and I just don't have a way to do it without possibly screwing up the finish on the thumb studs. Uh, like I said, Nico does carry this a lot. It is a, it's a nice blade shape. Um, I'm not a fan of the blade edge termination, but I understand why it's like that. I do. Uh, it has to do with the inner workings and the fact that they wanted it to come back into that swept plunge. So sharpening this, you're going to wind up with some, some difficulties in sharpening. Uh, it's a fairly thick blade, but it's well ground. Fairly thin for as, for as narrow as the blade is, it does get fairly thin behind the edge. Um, and that mirror polish, guys, that hand mirrored polish with a satin, it's a two, sorry about that, guys, I don't know what happened. My, my, my camera quit working and I couldn't get it turned back on. It just would not. So what I was saying is this hand mirror polished satin finish, um, all of that, look at all that the anodizing on it is well done. The finish on it is very well done. Takes a good anno. It's somewhere between a stone wash, satin, and a polish. It's it's uh, it's kind of special. And the action on it, the action on it is is the best part. And you can deploy it by pushing on the back back here. I'm trying to get it. It's a small knife. It doesn't sit what real great in my hands. At any rate, yeah. So it's it is an it's a dual action auto. And if you get it in a reverse grip, you can. Uh, deploy it by pushing on that corner or pulling back on that corner. Either way, as long as you move, see, I didn't get it. That's didn't get it in the catch. But once it's in the catch and that spring is locked, you basically have a thumb stud operated knife, just a, a single axe knife, just a regular liner lock until you do this. And then it's, then it, you have to reset the spring. Let's see if you can hear it. You can't even hear it. This one doesn't even click in. This knife is so smooth. Like I honestly have to say that that is one of the smoothest actions on washers, especially in auto, that I've ever, ever seen. So let's get some size comparison because I was about to do that before the battery or the, the phone died. So let's go ahead and set it next to some known bananas for scale. Sabenza. Yeah, see, right there. We'll just use the Sabenza. You're talking, this is a very small knife. It's not a big knife at all. It's a very nice little knife in an attractive, attractive package. And like I said, you cannot, you can't fault them on their quality of work with this carbon fiber. Carbon fiber, like I say, it's so hard to work with. So let's go ahead and turn this around and have some final thoughts. So like I said, guys, it's pretty cool that we got to go to their shop and see Nico got to pick out which knife he wanted. He got to pick his colors and I'm, I'm trying more to watch the camera. I've got myself a little reference point so I know where the camera is because I do know I drift off and look other places. Um, yeah, it's really cool that we got to hang out with these guys, watch them work on these knives, got to see them at the show. As a matter of fact, I like these guys well enough that there was a few people, just that I, I wanted to have a small get together. My birthday was in Vegas. Uh, for USN, I invited Will and Eric, I invited Nick Shabazz, I invited Aaron Frederick, Nico of course was there, and I invited, I invited there was a couple other people I invited, but just there was so much stuff that they had to do at the show. Um, so we got to hang out with the guys the night before the show, we got to hang out with the guys at the show, we got to hang out with the guys at my birthday dinner, and we had a blast. Nick Shabazz was there, it, it was a lot of fun. 
Um, I need to get a hold of Nick. I really want to get to, to talk to Nick. I haven't talked to him in a while. But yeah, great, great knives. Now, I will say that the price point is daunting on these, but you got to remember, this is probably one of the best full customs I've ever had in my hand. No joke. A little bit of a rattle, but that goes with the territory. Um, these are six, these are almost $1,600. These are $1,560 on Knife Center. They have one of them on Knife Center. $1,560. Would I ever buy one of these? No. I, I just don't see a purpose for it. I don't ever see me buying something that would just strictly sit in a case like the Strider currently is, but that's probably going up for, for raffle here before too long. You guys might be able to get in on that. I'll let you know what's up with that. But could I justify this? No. Is it fun? Yeah. When Nico let me borrow it from time to time, this does not need sharpened. So it came for sharpening and things like that with that Nick Chirpin design uh, Mark One. But... Uh, yeah, I, I just, I don't see this being something that would functionally be in my, in my rotation of things to carry, but can I look at it and appreciate it for what it is? Yeah, it's a piece of art. It is truly art. And uh, the guys do a really good job. Uh, if you don't follow them, you should probably try and follow them on Instagram. Uh, Will and Eric Touch. Great, great guys. They were extended, extended the hospitality as telling us we could come to the shop, hang out for a little bit. Uh, John Gray was there when we got there. Just generally some of the some really good good people in general so um yeah guys i can't say anything else about it it's just a great great little piece of art to have if you're a collector that's that's something a collector would have i'm not a collector the closest i have to something like that is this which we will be filming a video about in the next few days uh the next couple days i told everybody i'd be doing it uh told a bunch of people i'd be doing it. i haven't announced it yet but yeah this is the closest I have to that, like an art knife, and I, it's still a functional tool. I would be afraid to use that. I like that knife enough, and I see it as being something that would not get any use because I'd be afraid to ruin it. Uh, like I said, it's, it's, it's definitely art. It's functional art. I mean, some people do use them, but like I, I wouldn't. I just couldn't. I couldn't bring myself to do it, so. Guys, that's about it. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been changing the intro music daily, like from video to video, and put in the, I'm trying to get the likes and subscribe thing there so you guys don't have to hear me pontificate about it here. Um, there will be stuff in the corners. Down in this corner will be a link to a video, or no, I'm sorry, this will be the link to the join if you want to join the membership, uh, like I said in the, the pop-ups. Uh, there are exclusive giveaways, exclusive content for those members. Uh, I'm working on a giveaway, hopefully in the next few days, uh, I'm gonna get it shot for the members. Uh, up here will be a subscription link. Down here is going to be a channel that, that I'm gonna try and figure a new channel. Uh, there's some channels out there that I haven't linked, but you know, may, it might just be niche fast, who knows. And then up here is going to be a video that YouTube thinks you like. guys. I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Be safe. And I will catch you in the next video. Not even going to try the watch anymore. Not even going to.